Good day, children. How are you today? Are you good? Oh, it's nice to know that you're okay. Are you ready for today's session? For today's session, we will going to identify nouns in the story and determine if it is a person, a place, an animal, or thing. Now, may I ask you something? Do you have a friend? Oh, it's good that you have a friend. Does your friend help you in times of need? Oh yes, friends help us when needed. I ask you those questions because later I will going to read to you a story of two neighbors. And we will going to find out how do they became good friends. But before that, I will going to show you pictures and choose among the words the meaning of each picture. Are you now ready? Okay, let's start. Neighbors or classmates. It's neighbors. Enemies or friends. It's friends. Fresh or rotten? It's rotten. Foolish or wise? It's foolish. Compete or share? It's compete. You did well on that activity. Now, you are ready to listen to our story. Find out how Jack and Jan became friends. Jack and Jan became friends. This is Jack and this is Jan. They are neighbors. Now, they are good friends. But in the past, they were not so friendly. John always wanted to have everything more than Jack. Jack bought a dog. John thought, Jack has one dog. I will buy three dogs. But John faced a lot of problem in taking care of the three dogs. Jack bought a nice watch. John thought, he bought one watch. I will buy three watches. But the two watches stopped working as he didn't use them. Jack bought a book. John bought three books. John thought, why did I buy three copies of the same book? That was foolish. Jack bought one big pumpkin. John bought two big pumpkins. One pumpkin got rotten before John could eat it. If Jack ate one cake, John would eat two cakes. Then John would get stomach pain. Jack bought one shirt. John bought three shirts. Then Jan had no money left with him. Jan was sad, but Jack came to help him. Jan said, Thanks for helping me. Now I know you are my friend. I shall buy only what I need. I don't need to compete with others, Jan added. Since then, the two neighbors are good friends, helping each other when needed. The end. I hope you like the story. Do you know now how do they became friends? Oh yes, very good. They became friends 
when Jack helped John to cope when he was very sad because there is no money left with him. Now, I will going to read to you the story again. I want you to focus on the nouns mentioned in the story. Remember that a noun is a word that used to name a person, place, animal, or thing. Now, let's read again the story. Jack and John became friends. This is Jack and this is John. They are neighbors. Now, they are good friends. But in the past, they were not so friendly. John always wanted to have everything more than Jack. Jack bought a dog. John thought, Jack has one dog. I will buy three dogs. But John faced a lot of problem in taking care of the three dogs. Jack bought a nice watch. John thought, He bought one watch. I will buy three watches. But the two watches stopped working as he didn't use them. Jack bought a book. John bought three books. John thought, Why did I buy three copies of the same book? That was foolish. Jack bought one big pumpkin. John bought two big pumpkins. One pumpkin got rotten before John could eat it. If Jack ate one cake, John would eat two cakes. Then John would get stomach pain. Jack bought one shirt. John bought three shirts. Then John had no money left with him. John was sad, but Jack came to help him. John said, Thanks for helping me. Now I know you are my friend. I shall buy only what I need. I don't need to compete with others, John added. Since then, the two neighbors are good friends, helping each other when needed. The end. Can you give me no nouns mentioned in the story? Oh yes, you said it right. Jack, John, dog, watch, pumpkin, book, shirt, friends, neighbors, cakes are just some of them. Jack, John, friends, neighbors are examples of nouns for person. Watch, pumpkin, shirt, book, and cakes are for things, while dog is for an animal. Can you give me an example of a noun for a place? Oh yes, house is a noun for a place. Yes, school is also an example. Now, let's proceed to the next activity. Read each noun and determine if it is a person, place, animal, or thing. Okay, let's start. Clown. The answer is person. Next, we have church. It is a 
place. Very good. Next is pillow. It is a thing. Next is cup. Again, it's a thing. Very good. And the last one is donkey. Donkey is an animal. Very good. All your answers are correct. Now, we will proceed to the next activity. Here, you will identify all the nouns written in the story. You did great! Give yourself a happy yippee yay hey clap! Happy yippee yay -hey. Now, for the last activity. Read and copy the sentences. Encircle the noun in each sentence and determine if it is a person, place, thing, or animal. Number one is done for you.